Oh yeah, that's that's the box. Yeah, let's take it all out. Put it on the table. this here we go now we can do something all right guys welcome back welcome to pie top welcome to welcome to the pie top world headquarters aka my garage so we are on day three of what i thought was going to be a three hour project funny how that always happens that way um, but essentially what we have been doing and what we are doing long term is just organizing the garage we're getting all this junk out of here we've got a lot of it out so far but it's still a huge wreck in here Move this all out, organize it, move some of that stuff back in, uh, go through a bunch of stuff, throw some stuff away. But the project part, this got a lot more intensive once we realized we just need to go ahead and update the entire garage. And if you've updated your garage before, you know what kind of undertaking that can be. There's holes in the walls, there's cracks above the windows, been repairing that. Once that's all repaired, we're gonna come in and we'll sand it, paint it, and then we'll have a place where we can do some projects over the winter time. Uh, maintenance on the Forerunner. The Forerunner needs tons of maintenance. It's just sitting outside right now, but it needs transmission work, transfer case work, differential work, probably a new drive belt, tons of other things, coolant. We got to do the coolant on it as well. So all those videos are to come, hopefully in a nice, new, clean uh, shop that we'll have here. Um, but for today, I need to do a little bit of patchwork. I did some patchwork yesterday, but I forgot one hole in the ceiling, so we'll do that together today. And then hopefully later on, we'll go down to the barn We'll get the, uh, actually, I think that's going to be for another time. I was going to say there's this big, there's this big workbench down in the barn. I was going to go say we'll pull that out today, but I think that's probably for a later today. So let's do this. We'll organize a little bit more and then we'll just kind of go from there. And if this house looks old, it is old. It was built back in 64 or something. Um, so pretty, pretty old at this point, probably 60 years old at this point. Let's see. Get this all set up. Okay, last hole we gotta do. So here's our hole in question. Let's see, let's just make sure it's kind of cleaned up. You can sand it if you want to. A bunch of different ways to do it. <clears throat> Actually, there's really only a few good ways to do it. This little patch repair kits are pretty nice though. I've used them a few times. Make sure your putty is on the warmer side. If it's cold, it doesn't spread as easy. Whoop. Ha <laughs> ha. Tell I'm not exactly a drywall finish guy. Here we go. So we're not trying to cover it. We just want a little bit on the outside. And these drywall patches, they come with three things. They come with the wax paper, the wire mesh, and then this, it's not wire, it's just, mesh of some sort. Take the wax backing and we'll stick it over. Trim a little bit. Whoop. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Within about a half inch to an inch. Oh, I need to sharpen my knife. Be a good video. A little bit more putty. Let's 
stick. There's a sticky side and non-sticky side. Put the sticky side up there, just like that. A little bit more putty. Make sure it sticks. Put this guy on. Then you can crisscross this at the very end. There we go. Get that up there. Once it's all nice and dry, we'll get the sander out and we'll sand that down plus 50 more spots in here that have been covered up. Um, not all of them were holes and not all of them were cracks. Some, some of them were just simply over here in the bottom next to the door. Let me show this to you. This is all putty. This has already been sanded, but this is all marked up from a cat that was in here that just clawed the heck out of that wall right there. So that's already been, re been refinished. There's so many things. I mean, this just needs a fresh coat of paint. I don't know what was there. <sighs> Bad mark right there. This beam was recently put in to hold the roof of the house up uh, here in the garage because there's a massive crack going all the way across so that needs to be painted just so much so much in here needs to be covered up in the paint but the vision for the garage by the end of it is going to be pretty sweet we'll have a place over here to park a vehicle we'll have a forerunner in here uh I'll probably park my jeep in here quite a bit and work on it as well but for the sake of uh for the sake of what i'll be filming i'll bring the forerunner in here have a place for it to be parked and i can work on it in the back we'll have a bench that's down in the barn right now that'll be good over here, I can probably do a lot of work on uh, building some tents and things of that nature. So it should be, like by, by the end of it, it should be something. That was easy. The garage is finally cleaned out. In hindsight, I probably should have just done that first. My dog is barking. Let's go see what he's doing. Wrangler, come here. Come here. Let's have the camera. Yeah, there you go. This is Wrangler. Yeah, what a good boy. So we've got him all warped up. All right, so in hindsight, I should have just cleaned the garage out way sooner and started with the patchwork way sooner as opposed to trying to organize the garage and then doing the patchwork around it. But live and learn, so be it. Um, Let's get to sanding. That's what's next. Where's my dog going? And what does he have? He's romping with something. A little bit of chaos there. FedEx showed up, his dog food came. He's got the bottom of a mop thing, which I really don't care about. He can have it. Was that a lot of fun? Was that a lot of fun? Did you enjoy the FedEx lady? Was she nice to you? right here. You can see it's still a little bit pink up in that corner. I had a little uh, place I need to go back and kind of fix up. So I have a fan up there right now that's drying that. Hopefully it'll be dry the next 30 minutes to an hour and then I can finish up sanding it. After that, I think I'm just gonna bring all the stuff back in here. Um, I'll probably leaf blow it out. I'll probably blow all the dust out and then bring the stuff back in just for the night.
Oh, those windows coming. Damn, these things are disgusting. Pretty bad. <laughs> Pretty bad. Let's see what you got here. No, the, the bad one's over there. You want to see the bad one? Yeah. Let's go see the bad one. Yeah. Oh, uh, this is the one that's got the lint on, right? I mean, whatever that is, I don't know. Yeah, it's gross. It's disgusting. Let's see what the seal is like. Not great. Pretty bad. Meanwhile, I gotta clean the screens over here. That's what I'm doing. What's up? There's literally a pair of scissors in the windowsill. Really? Yes. Jeez. Do you ever want them? Are they, can you use them? Are they usable or are they just awesome? I mean, they're cheap scissors. Yeah. They're gross. I'll say it's a toss. Wrangler, we gonna turn the Christmas lights on. Want to come with me? Turn the Christmas lights on. Yeah, let's go. All right, let's go check out these Christmas lights. All right, it's Christmas time at Pie Top headquarters. Christmas tree. There's the Wrangler. Ah, oh, there it is. Hey, right, down, 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 down. By the way, this is day four of work. The three hour project has turned into four days of work. You thought this would take three hours? Yeah, initially I just thought we were organizing the garage. And it's just, it's gotten bigger and bigger since then. So it, it became organize the garage, pull everything out of the garage, paint the garage, go through all the stuff in the garage. And I think we're also going to do a, uh, a paint on the, on the floor. But so far we've done that side. You see where we've done just the line right there. It's gonna be gray. We'll do the window. Try to party that white. Maybe paint the beams black. I don't know. We'll do something with it. But this is it. World. This is ground zero for Pie Top World Headquarters. All right, you tell them. In 10, 15, 20 years, when Pie Top is around the world, it all started right here. Yep. What day is this? How many days we've been working on this thing? Mm -hmm. Seven, you wanna call it a week? Day five or six? Yeah, I've lost count. Welcome back to Pie Top World Headquarters on day five or six. We kinda lost track. This whole project started as organizing the garage and has turned into a full on renovation. So we're getting close to the finish. We replaced all the outlets, we painted two coats. Courtney's doing the trim. I'm gonna paint these beams black. And then hopefully in the next couple days we can get the stuff started moving back in here. I finished up the plumbing for the sink, so I got a functioning sink in here now, which is awesome. Hey Wrangler, what's up buddy? Come over here to take a little sniff. A little sniff, a little black paint on that nose. There you go, a little black paint on that nose, there you go. <laughs> oh, don't touch that. Hopefully, hopefully by tomorrow we'll be done. <laughs> Check on the door. This is the third layer of stripper I put on there. show you what I did over here. So the sink, this is the original sink, but painted this down here, did new P-trap, new plumbing, and then back here, did a bunch of new plumbing work, got all this squared away. It's 
gonna be a shop fit for a pie top by the time we're done with it. This looks so much better, doesn't it? End of day seven. That's it. It's all painted. Everything. Everything's been painted. The walls, the attic door, the beams, the shelf, the trim. It's all been painted. Totally different space. And yet, we still never went through our stuff. Day one's project is now day eight. This is really turned into phases. This is phase one, clean it out, paint it. Yeah. I think phase two is gonna be organize all this stuff, get a bench in here, get a table in here, get a table built, bench. That's all phase, that's all phase two. Insulation on the doors. Insulation on the doors. Phase three is the wood stove. Oh gosh. How about that?